Hey everybody, I'm Natalie Pascarella. This is News 4 Now for Wednesday, June 19th. And first up, a check of your weather. Yep, the rain continues. The stormy, steamy conditions sticking around tonight and tomorrow too. But thankfully, Storm Team 4 says things should clear up by this Friday. All right, let's get you up to speed on the news. Self-help guru Keith Ranieri has been convicted of running a sex cult where women were kept as virtual prisoners to service him. Keith Ranieri's crime spree has ended and his victims will finally see justice. A jury took less than five hours to decide Ranieri's fate. His trial lasted seven weeks. Ranieri founded the group called Nexium. It operated out of upstate New York. And prosecutors say women who joined were brainwashed, branded, and forced to have sex with Ranieri. The case got national attention after the arrest of several of his high-ranking members, including Smallville actress Allison Mack. Now, Mack later pleaded guilty to extortion and forced labor. Ranieri will be sentenced on the charges, which include racketeering, sex trafficking, and child porn possession later this year. His lawyers say they plan to appeal. Authorities say one of the men convicted of murdering Lissandro Jr. Guzman Feliz attacked a correction officer. Officials say Jose Muniz punched the officer in the face last night at the Manhattan Detention Center. Muniz is the gang member who attacked Jr. with a machete last year. Union officials say the guard he assaulted suffered a dislocated shoulder and back injuries. The NYPD needs your help tonight to find this man. They say he spray painted anti-Muslim messages on the doors of PS52 in Brooklyn Sunday night. Police are also trying to figure out if he's behind more hateful graffiti at a bus stop nearby. This school is full of Muslims, you know, it's not right. In Albany, a last minute push to reach a deal on pot in New York has gone up in smoke. Lawmakers couldn't vote on a bill to legalize recreational marijuana use before their summer break. We're told there were several sticking points, including disagreement over where the revenue from legalization should go. The bill's sponsor says they came close to reaching a deal, but they simply ran out of time. And finally tonight, do you remember that Facebook fugitive who promised to turn himself in if his wanted poster got 15,000 likes? Well, he finally surrendered to police. 30-year-old Jose Sims was wanted by police in Connecticut for failing to appear in court on a variety of charges. His mugshot quickly racked up more than 20,000 likes after police posted it on their Facebook page last month. That's all for News 4 Now, but keep watching to see how a woman who experienced the Stonewall Uprising is sharing her story in a way everyone can see. I'm Natalie Pascarella. Thanks so much for watching.